Sri Lanka is a fantastic holiday destination with a diverse assortment of attractions. This island off the coast of India in the Indian Ocean offers tourists a diverse range of surroundings to explore and experience. In places like Colombo and Kandy, visitors may follow the island's interesting history from ancient times to the colonial period to the present. This little island is home to eight UNESCO World Heritage Sites that preserve the island's heritage. So in today's video, we are going to explore the top 10 places to visit in Sri Lanka. Number 10. Tangale. Sri Lanka is surrounded on all sides by beaches, and there is truly something for everyone. The Tangale region offers a variety of beach experiences. It is located in the heart of the island's southern shore and is a popular tourist attraction. This area has a diverse assortment of beaches, from tropical coves to broad windswept stretches of open sand that appear to go on forever. Beaches with amenities, merchants, and beachside kiosks may be found alongside secluded beaches where you're nearly assured to be alone. A large sea turtle nesting habitat and conservation facility may be found at Rekawa Beach, just east of town. Number 9. Polon Narua. Another to the country's World Heritage Sites is this major ancient city ruin site. After Anuradhapura, Polon Narua was Sri Lanka's second capital city, which flourished roughly a thousand years ago. Although most of the structures are in ruins, the garden city has been totally maintained. Gardens, palaces, and temples abound. And while the area is small, it's best visited by bicycle. A benefit is that the ruins are home to a huge group of macaques that have lived in the region since ancient times. A few miles from the ruins lies a tiny contemporary village with guest houses, bike rentals, cafes, and other tourist amenities. Number 8. Anuradhapura Anuradhapura, one of the country's historic capitals, offers a look into the past to visitors. You're not simply exploring ruins in this location. There's a bustling, modern tiny town close to an ancient one. It's a great spot to visit and spend a night or two. There are several collapsing temples, sculptures, lakes, and other constructions among the ruins. There are some newer constructions, and the temple is still used for worship. A tree, a very old oak, is at the center of the compound. The Sri Mahabodhi is said to be the world's oldest human-planted live tree. Number 7. Yala National Park This national park, located on the island's southeast coast, is famed for leopard safaris. Leopards are extremely rare, yet the park has a significant population and they may be seen even on a day trip. A huge number of Asian elephants, which are native to Sri Lanka, live in the park. Apart from the animals, the park contains some amazing and diverse landscapes and ecosystems. You may explore tropical jungles, follow leopards over wide grasslands, or see the sea and beach environments of coastal places. Yala, which is not far from Hambantota, also has a number of notable Buddhist temples and shrines. Number 6. Galle Face Green The Sri Lankan equivalent of Venice Beach in Los Angeles isn't the place to get away from it all, but it is a great area to relax, people watch, and have a good time with other Sri Lankans day or night. A huge grassy area, apart from the shore, is used for picnics and activities. Visit on a Friday or Saturday night for the most energy. You may relax on the beach and swim or sail a kite in the constant breeze. There are constantly pickup games of football, that's soccer, or cricket going on, so you may participate. Vendors and restaurants line the beach, while the region beyond it is lined with hotels, ranging in price from affordable to luxury. Number 
Number 5. Hikaduwa Beach This beach is about 90 minutes from Colombo and is perfect for water sports including surfing, bodyboarding, snorkeling and scuba diving. All of the necessary equipment may be rented at one of the seaside vendors. It's one of the top surfing spots in the country with the best waves from November to March. Because the beach is so big, it never seems overcrowded. If you choose to stay overnight, there are a number of seaside booths available, which provide a variety of local street cuisine, as well as a number of modest hotels and guest houses. Number 4. Galle One of the country's first modern superhighways connects Colombo to Galle which is roughly a two-hour drive away. This historic commercial harbor is centered on a massive 17th-century coastal fort and calls it colonial heritage. Galle Fort is a walled tower that has been restored and is now home to boutique hotels, shops and restaurants. The entire region has been designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The whole fort area is car-free, making it a terrific destination to explore on foot. It's difficult to get lost since the sea surrounds you on three sides. Number 3. Uddawalawe National Park This enormous animal park is located in the country's southern region, about an hour's drive from Hambantota. Because the park is on the boundary of the country's rainy and dry zones, the landscape and surroundings are diverse. Elephants, crocodiles, water buffalo, and other animals may be seen in the park, which has a high population. In fact, it's one of the greatest spots on the planet to watch wild elephants. Leopards can be found there as well, but they might be difficult to track or locate. Monkeys as well as a variety of deers and small animals can be found. It's also a fantastic spot for bird viewing. Number 2. Kandy Kandy is a historic capital city of Sri Lankan royal dynasty and the country's principal metropolis beyond the colonial period. It's located in central Sri Lanka. Between the 15th and 18th centuries, the Kandyan era reached its pinnacle when the territory remained autonomous while most of the coastal districts were invaded by European forces. Visit the city's National Museum of Kandy which uses exhibits and artifacts to tell the narrative of the region and its people. The Temple of the Sacred Tooth Relic, part of the Royal Palace Complex, is a particularly important Buddhist shrine nearby. Number 1. Colombo The capital blends contemporary city facilities with the country's diverse indigenous and colonial histories. Sri Lanka has always retained strategic relevance for European commercial powers as a crucial stop on the international spice trade routes. The nation has been a colony of Portugal, the Netherlands, and most recently the United Kingdom. And all of these cultures have merged with the indigenous culture to create a magnificent mix. These influences may be tasted in food, seen in architecture and the arts, and felt strongly in Colombo. There are also museums and other things to see and do in the city that might help you connect with Sri Lankan culture. Colombo is located on the coast and is the center of the city. A big green space and beach area separates an area known as Fort from the Indian Ocean. With incredible outdoor landscapes and safari experiences, Sri Lanka is a country that just can't be afforded to miss. And it should be clear by now, it's a beach lover's paradise. Give a like to this video and let us know in the comments which place you found the most interesting. Press the subscribe button if you're not subscribed yet and stay tuned for our next video. Until then, take care.